Hello again, dear friends. This is Lady Sylvia, and today I want to show you some of the bracelets that arrived in my jewelry haul. And I want to show you some of these bangles. And this one here has little inset stones. And it's gold tone, but it's really pretty. This one here has sort of a reaching, it's probably brass. This one is a cloisonne piece with little flowers. So you can wear them all together. I like the dressy one with the diamonds. And then, oh, this is very groovy. <laughs> See that? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. That is really cool. I think that's very nice. It has wear. I'm going to try to polish up a lot of these. This one's very elegant, it's faux pearl, but I do like the clasp, look at that. Almost has like a little stone, but I can't tell what type of stone it is. But it's a very nice clasp, for, and they are knotted, look at that. And then there's a metal segment between each session, you know, see? So this was well made, I don't know the maker, it's definitely faux pearls. Um, let's see, how do you open this thing? Mm -hmm. There you go. No maker. Unsigned. I checked all around. Sure is pretty, though. You know, um, a lot of these makers of... Uh, faux pearls and you know they use cultured pearls they used well they, they're not cultured they're um you know they're they're a, like a nacre the thing that gives a pearl it's it's luster and coating is called nacre and they dip them in an artificial nacre and a lot of them are plastic beads or glass beads but these are knotted in between so they it, it obviously is a quality piece even though it's it's um it's not real this is a little charm bracelet with a poodle and he's got little gemstones around his neck and i think he has a little ruby or a little red all right look at that yeah little red stones in his eyes so he's very cool unsigned unfortunately so it's just a little charm of a poodle. This one is, um, I like that, look at that. So it has a mesh, mesh background with the leaves. Nice snap tight, but it's got the design in the back, look at that. They're not bad, you know, they're, there's wear, but it's not horrible. It's still in good shape. And this is a um, strange little one, like a castle, crenellated like a castle top. So when you're feeling queenly, you can wear that. I think it's brass. Here's one of little kids. Isn't that cute? Again, unsigned. I don't know who made it. It's not marked. Here's a really, another dog lover's piece. This has different dog charms. And there's a little dog with the lamppost and it's like a red stone. 
fire hydrant, little doggy. This is really cute. I might give this to my pet sitter who watches my animals when we travel. She's wonderful. She's a really sweet person. Here is an Alex and Annie, and it says Air Force. I think I know who I'm going to send this to. I guess you can add charms, and then it swings. And there it is. It says Alex and Annie 2015. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Here is another bangle with a safety chain. Very pretty design. Still usable. I mean, there's wear and everything, but there's they're still quite usable. It's not scratched up real bad. There it is. Snaps really nice. Some of them lose that uh, that tension and they fall off. But this one's in pretty good shape. You know, it's still wearable. They all have some sort of wear on them. Here is a very um, 50s, 60s, smoky, smoky quartz. Have to polish up all these. But it's still very usable. And since I do beadwork, I can actually take this off. This is all peeled off. Looks like it might have been a pearl. I could actually take that off and put a real pearl or a different type of stone. But it's very, very cool. This one looks like it wore off. It's like milk glass underneath. I could fix these. But this is very cool. Something, you know, with a... Uh, brown sweater for the fall. This makes me think of the fall, which is one of my favorite times of year. So I might actually wear this in the fall. Oh, and here's another one. This needs repair. This piece has a fish hook clasp. That's what these are called, fish hook clasp. See, it doesn't stay. It's not marked as 14 carats, so it is um, knotted between each pearl, which is a good sign of quality. And I know how to do knotting, and I probably will take this apart and put a new fish hook or a different clasp. And uh, I have all the equipment to do this, so I might repair this, because you can't sell anything that doesn't work like that. That looks terrible. And this is, oh boy, this is, the piece de resistance, as they say. Oh, look at this. This is a stretchy, but oh boy, look at that. Is that not the coolest? Wow. I am definitely keeping this. Wow, that is so elegant and so beautiful. None of the stones are missing. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Wow. That makes me think of, you know, the days when, uh, if you watch TCM and you see the old Hollywood movie stars with the big gems, they wore big bracelets with rhinestones and big uh, brooches on their lapels and on neck chains and chokers. Oh, Whew. I was really surprised when I saw this. And it's unsigned. Can you believe that? Unsigned. Man, oh man, is that a beautiful piece. Look at that. Totally awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping that one. And then there's this. This is really kind of worn down. But still very pretty. Kind of worn down. Oh, it has that vertebrae. I can get rid of that. And that's about it. That was about, I didn't get a lot of, of uh, bracelets, but um, I did get a lot of brooches. So I'll make a different video for that one. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this little short video. And I will come back with uh, some more 
I, believe it or not, I, I have more chains and more necklaces. And then I have the brooches and I, I got a few rings in. So I'm gonna have to test some of those rings because they definitely look like gold. But I thank you for watching and for liking and sharing and subscribing. And I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.